Okay, here's the problem. So I went to itch.io and I picked up a character enemy animation pack. This one right here from Arvos, Revos. I don't know. I'll leave a description in the uh, in the comments. Anyway, or sorry, a link in the comments. Anyway, these are fantastic animations. They're great. Um, I'm absolutely going to go pick up the rest of the animations here. Highly recommend you check them out. However, for whatever reason, the animator did not center everything within the cell. Everything is offset. Um, and I and just to be fair, they're great animations. And I, I suspect the reason that they're offset is, is for this die animation here, which is great. I love it. The rest of the animations, though, are also not offset. Or they're offset. They're not centered. The problem is that in-game, as you're running this, as you're trying to you know, flip, um, you want your enemy to face left or face right, it's going to determine the center point of the entire cell and then mirror that on the other side. So in game, when you're mirroring this, it's jumping across the cell uh, and it means things like your hitboxes, it means things like um, collision shapes, they're not gonna line up and it's a huge pain in the ass to go set everything up. Here's how you fix that. Uh, so first off, we're gonna, I'm just going to do it from scratch here. And of course, if there's a better way, definitely let me know. I would like to see that. So we're going to set our sprite. We're going to bring our big sheet in here. And of course, let me just go ahead and show you. As we're setting our animations here, we're setting our horizontal frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see you can see the problem right here. Everything, almost everything, is taking place on the right side of the screen, and that means when we flip it, flip our horizontal, it rotates all the way across, and that looks terrible in game because we're looking at it. Well, for that one, it's not a big deal. We're we're looking at a difference of like I don't know, 50-ish pixels, give or take. Uh, and like I said, aside from other things not lining up when you're flipping it, it's just it's a little bit off-putting to have the character suddenly jump, um, jump across like that. So like I said, uh, let's check out how to fix this here. Okay, so we got that set up there. When we click on our region here, we're going to go down to texture. So texture region, click that on the bottom there. Snap mode, go ahead and set it to pixel snap. Make sure you can see what's going on here. And we're going to adjust these brackets here. We're going to adjust them left and right. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're going to go into region, go into region first over here and click enabled. And now as you're moving these, these little handles around, you can see this up here is moving. So we are just going to fiddle with these a little bit just to make sure everything gets lined up the way it's supposed to get lined up. And really want to stress that we want this to line up just about right at the base there. There we go. That looks pretty good. OK, go ahead and double check this by running through your frames. Oh, I think I nailed it on the first shot. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now we can see everything lines up here. And of course, the, the guys are going to move around a little bit in code because they're, you know, they're they're jumping around on the screen. That's good. The key here is that it's now centered. It's centered in the cell. So if we go back to our sprite here, now as we're flipping horizontally, we're not really getting a huge difference in code. So if I have, let's say I come to my, my primary guy here, I have, you know, I have a, a hitbox over here. When I rotate the hitbox in code, it's gonna line up no matter where it's, it goes because we're now rotating around the center point here. I can show you, we can go animation. Hitbox, where are we here? Attack, attack animation.
there we go. So we can see it lines up on that side. And then as we go and we flip the sprite to the other side and we come back to our hitbox here and we rotate our hitbox around. Hey, look at that. The hitbox lines up. And if we run the game here, we can see. So everything lines up. Anyway, so if you happen to pick up, we'll run away from this guy here. If you happen to pick up something uh, like a sprite sheet and it's not centered, I think this is how you center it. And like, it just takes a couple of minutes or it takes four and a half hours to figure it out on your own. So I hope, I hope this works for you.